International Horse Show welcome to Charlotte de Jardin and Horton Sterling Carto and of course the master himself, Carl Hester. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you for such a lovely welcome. So last night uh, we showcased uh, a, a lovely horse called Mountain John Freestyle, uh, eight year old. Um, and the reason that Charlotte and I are competing here this year is because these two young horses we bought are uh, on their way. We think they're going to be international superstars, uh, but they're not as yet ready to compete uh, in this sort of atmosphere. So it was a brilliant idea to bring them here, uh, see how they cope, see what they're like. And um, Charlotte's horse that she rode last night was an eight-year-old mare. And tonight we have uh, my ride. And he's a nine-year-old and he's called Portins Delicato. So he's by Diamond Hit, uh, which if you know anything about breeding, a very well-known stallion, German stallion. And he was bred in England. So we don't always have to think that we have to uh, travel abroad to find the best horses. Can you believe that this was five minutes up the road from me? Uh, I saw him at the National Championships when he was five years old and I watched him go trotting past and I thought, that's something I would love to have for Christmas. <laughs> and I made it happen, of course. So, he uh, is young, he's nine. Now, the freestyle that we saw last night, she has an amazing temperament. She is very talented, but she's also very calm. We called her Mrs. Vallegro. Uh, this horse, uh, is a little bit different, he's much more nervous and when you're talking about horses' temperaments you have to take that into consideration uh, when you're training them. So this horse is just not as mature yet uh, in his head uh, as she is, but he happens to have other qualities which as you can see there's something that a dressage horse has to have uh, apart from the three good paces. Um, this horse has First of all, I think he has presence. So when we look at him, you know, he has presence. He's almost uh, show-like in his type. Very beautiful, very up there. When you sit on him, you're sitting behind uh, a wonderful neck shape. And when they're going in the right shape, if your horse is fortunate enough to have a good neck, uh, or even if he doesn't have a good neck, what we're always aiming for is having the neck uphill. A dressage horse has to look like it's going uphill, and you can see how that helps elevate the stride. So when the more advanced the horse gets, uh, the more suspension that comes from good collection, you'll see starts to come into his steps. So he is ready uh, to do his first Grand Prix. We're hoping he's going to do that uh, next year. Uh, he was Intermediate Two Champion this year at our National Championship. So that is um, a level just below Grand Prix. So he knows everything, and we're just going to run through some things for you to look at so that you can see a horse that's potentially fantastic but not always established. So, what do I expect as a trainer, and what does Charlotte expect as a rider? Well, first of all, you can see her, first of all, finding the buttons. Now, Charlotte and I, as you know, have worked together now for 11 years. Um, well, she came to work for me, I now work for her. Um, <laughs> but, so, we do swap horses, and it's really great if you have a trainer that can sometimes sit on your horse. Uh, and obviously, we share uh, the ride, so I'd like Charlotte to also ride him a little bit next year in some Grand Prix as well. So she's just going to run through some half passes. I think what we're going to look at first um, is some zigzagging in canter, we call it. And uh, any of these movements we were talking about last night that are difficult uh, have a coefficient of two on. Uh, and she's just warming him up with some simple, straightforward half 
passes. So when you sit on the horse and you half pass, if you're riding to a letter, you can see that through his ears. What we need to know is that his outside eye also turns there. The horse has to be very flexible in both directions. And that will show the judge the horse is supple both sides. She's doing a single flying change. Now, interestingly enough, you look at the way that horse catches there. His hind leg has a wonderful bend in the hock. He has an amazing um, moment of suspension. So when he does a flying change, or look at his extended canter here, I think it's very obvious when, if you're not a, a, a real dressage expert, it's very obvious to all of us when a horse does an extended trot. Uh, but when you see a good extended canter, look at how his hind leg pushes him uphill. So let's have another diagonal, Charlotte, extended canter. So he shouldn't really, get, it's not the flat out gallop. We're not looking for a flat out gallop, we're looking for a big jump with his hind leg there, that he pushes himself forward and uphill, and straight change at him. Okay, let's have a look at some flying changes. Now, it should help, if you can find a horse that can do this, it will help create expression. So when this horse does a flying change, you can see there, very definite uphill beat, the judge is looking for straightness. Oh, you, 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 Charlotte, you made a mistake on my horse. <laughs> he hasn't done that with me yet. <laughs> So she's picking a straight line here. So he just got a little bit, I don't know if you saw what happened there, he got a little bit too forward and then he didn't come through with his hind leg. But look when he gets them right, there's an amazing flying change, a very big jump. And if you're looking at that from the back on the front there, you can see he's very straight as well. He shouldn't deviate from the line. So we're going to try the one technique now. Now this is very individual um, to, to ride a, because obviously Charlotte's legs are in a different place to mine, but here we can see all beautiful flying, single flying changes there. And I think she can have a round of applause for that. tense. 
you're welcome to come and have a go. <laughs> it's not as easy as it looks, let me tell you. Uh, to bring a horse, because out of those curtains there is a really, really quiet arena. You can't hear anything out here. You can't even hear the music when it's happening. So we warm up in absolute silence, and then they have to come through here, come in here, and then the music starts. Everybody's happy and clapping, and what's the first thing we have to do in a dressage test? Stand still. <laughs> Who wrote that? Uh, it's very, you have to have a superbly trained horse that can actually uh, manage um, to cope with atmosphere, and that's why I'm talking about temperaments. We can see with this horse three beautiful paces, and we really have to take care of his temperament to make sure that he's going to be able to cope with all these things in the future. But to see him here tonight, uh, I'm absolutely thrilled uh, how he's coping. Now, the difficult bits. How do we know if this horse is going to be a great horse? Well, we have to think about what's in the Grand Prix. What's really difficult? Yeah. A PF in a Grand Prix uh, is a very 